And we have a new product for 2011. Hot Wheels trains. Apparently, uh, they're supposedly called Rapid Transit, even though it doesn't say it anywhere on the package. But uh, even the one with the Rapid Transit on the uh, passenger part here, it's actually called a uh, Rail Rocket. So, I'm not sure. But anyway, supposedly it goes through loops. We'll check that out later. So, let's go ahead and uh, check them out. Here we have, uh, while I'm opening up Rail Rocket here, I'll go ahead and let you check out Steam and Demon. I opened them up. The thing about these trains is they're connectable. They got this little pivoting part here, which allows them to be connected. Here, we have Rocky Mountain Rail. I have this one already opened up, so I'll just show you this one. Look like it would be fun, as you can see in the background. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some through the loops and see how they work. Here's your rail rocket, was it called? Rail rocket. So, Steam and Demon. Classic Steam passenger car. See the passengers? Areas. Here's another passenger train, Rocky Mountain. Like you're heading through the Rocky, Rocky Mountains. This one. Like the, uh, it's got a, a big old rocket engine in there. There's three. Let's go ahead and check out Super Stoker. It's got a little coal car, like the uh, vintage trains. There we go, Super Stoker. A little oil container. And see how it connects there? So this thing should be able to pivot freely through the curves. Next up, Diesel Chief. Looks like it's got these big old uh, turbines on there. These are my two favorite right here. Fast Freight, and this one's in chrome. West Coast Flyer. Now you know these things are meant for the track. Not necessarily for the boosters, but you can get a couple of them through the boosters. And the reason they're for the track is because uh, they have metal bases, so they have lower center of gravity. Plastic, they're all plastic on the top and uh, they're meant for having fun so let's go ahead and uh, let's do a drive-by so you can see each one individually a little drive-by sorry i live in east l.a it slipped so anyways as you can see they all connect and it doesn't matter you can hook them up uh, you can hook up a bunch of cabooses or a, a bunch of uh, of the front parts or the back parts you can mix and match and hook them up however you want. Kind of fun just to drive around as it is. Right now these are uh, four dollars for a two-pack and they're available everywhere. Okay so don't think uh, don't panic they're going to be available everywhere everywhere and there are so there's supposed to be about 12 cars to be released. We expect some uh, buses and trolleys to come so soon. Anyways uh, let's get some track time.
Looks like fun, huh? Let's go ahead and uh, try them in the boosters. While I'm setting this up, let me go ahead and give you a track tip. You know, sometimes cars nick the edge of the next piece of track. So what you need to do is you need to pinch and flare. Pinch this side and flare the outgoing side. This way when the car comes by, it won't nick that edge. Okay, here I have just a little basic loop set up. Um, I put the booster on this uh, rubber stuff. This is the stuff that you can get for your kitchen drawers. It helps the stuff from sliding around. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and give it a test. As I said, you can hook anything to anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, caboose to caboose. You can, you can hook them backwards. It's just a universal thing. It doesn't matter. But uh, let's go ahead and give them some uh, track time. Here we go. Look at that. Here's the caboose. Ah, I put it in. I didn't get it flat. Hey, yeah, work in the boosters. Well, let's go ahead and hook them up. Two. My battery might be dying, but really what's happening is that when you send one through the booster and it goes around, the booster slows down when it propels the car. So as the car's going around, the booster is getting, getting time to pick back up speed. If you put two cars too close together, the first one hits the booster, the booster throws it, and the second one, when it hits the booster, it's, the booster's slowing down because it just pushed the car. So the second one doesn't get enough power. And it's even worse if you push three. I think my battery's dying here a little bit. But really, you can't do three. Just because by the time it gets to the third car, the booster's slowing down too much. So anyways, a lot of fun. Ready for one more, uh, one more uh, track time experiment? Let's check out uh, two loops. I'll put this here to minimize the uh, sliding around. Here we go. Well, they didn't lie. Works on the track. thing I wanted to try. We've been doing uh, one car, two cars. Let's try three and then four. Pinch, flare. One car, we know, no problem. Two cars, no problem. Three cars. 
Oh, did you see that loop fly up in the air? Let's do three cars again. Watch the loop. Comes off the ground so much weight. Oh. But it made it through the loop. Four cars. Who's having more fun? Me or you? Here we go. Four cars. Wow. That was four cars. I wonder how many uh, I can get going. Stay tuned. I think this is going to be continued. Bye-bye.